Thanks for watching WCCO, now streaming on CBSN Minnesota. Today, the Minneapolis City Council settled with the family of Terrence Franklin for $795,000 following a six year dispute in federal court. Minneapolis police shot and killed Franklin during a confrontation inside a South Minneapolis home in May of 2013. WCCO's Rich Chapman has more on the settlement and why the city is hopeful this will be the last one of its kind. My client, the trustee on the case, and the other heirs are really happy the case is over. We're happy we have closure. For more than six years, attorney Michael Padden has stood by family members of Terrence Franklin, who claimed their loved one was wrongfully killed by Minneapolis police. They killed my son. That's what's going through my mind. Patton said all along MPD's version of what happened in the basement of a South Minneapolis home did not match the evidence they had. Police say Franklin was shot and killed after a struggle with SWAT officers. Two officers were shot but survived. Franklin's death sparked months of protests from community members who challenged the officer's account of what happened. A grand jury decided there was not enough evidence to prosecute the officers. This was just a tragedy for everyone involved. I think our policy changes in the police department, the leadership changes, have really created a scenario where this would be unlikely to happen again. Um, so I think it's time to move forward and really, um, you know, continue with the changes that we're making in the police department to make sure this never happens again. City Council approved the settlement of $795,000 in a closed session. Council President Lisa Bender believes this will be the last settlement the city pays. She believes the use of body cameras will provide clarity in future cases. I think that contention is true in the sense that body cams really should tell the story. I think that's a fair point, assuming they're activated. Patton admits this settlement is not an admission of wrongdoing by police, but it is one way both family and the department can move forward. Rich Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The family filed the initial lawsuit against the city, the two officers involved, and former police chief Janae Harto. As part of the settlement, the family agreed to drop the individuals from that suit. Minneapolis Police Federation President Bob Kroll had this to say. The Police Officers Federation of Minneapolis is outraged, to say the least. This shows the lack of support and compassion the city council has regarding crime in this great city, the victims it leaves in its wake, and the care and well-being of our officers. It is a slap in the face of justice.